just off the shores of Maine, cresting near the top, a masterpiece. Sitting on more than 15 acres overlooking Penobscot Bay, and it's all going to absolute auction without reserve. Bidders will battle it out, and DeCaro Luxury Auctions will announce the new owner. Straight ahead, strong and beautiful. See how master craftsmen fuse the finest materials with timeless architecture to create this seaside sanctuary. A gateway to another place. Feels like some of the wonderful gardens in Kyoto. Take a stroll through the authentic Japanese garden and see the touches that create the ultimate Zen experience. Plus, Maine wouldn't be the same without these guys. From lobsters to sailing to scenery, why Islesboro is one of the best kept secrets on the East Coast. Rising above the bay along the eastern edge of the island, a refined retreat with more than 8,000 square feet. Inside, a fusion of art and architecture from around the world. Post and beam construction, cathedral ceilings, and soaring windows that stop you in your tracks. The house alone took five years to build and is loaded with original art. Oils, mosaics, sculptures, and more. A collection worth millions alone, and everything but the books will go to the highest bidder. They're getting a piece of artwork that was created by a man that had a passion. Art Gavoni would know he was one of the craftsmen who worked on the home. The stanchions, the handrails, and the intricacy of putting it all together, it's incredible. He went above and beyond on everything with this house. The guiding theme for the entire house was a ship. Everything has lines and materials that echo a vessel. It's like these twisting handrails that were actually built by a yacht company and lead to the upper deck. I'll meet you there. Here you see a symphony of wood, mahogany floors, all of the red oak timbers and the poplar ceilings. And all of the mahogany encased windows perfectly frame the views. Outside, Ipe decking, Sipe railings, cedar siding and trim, each piece of wood perfectly in tune with the other, cut and milled with impeccable precision. The south spiral staircase takes you up to the master suite that has an Asian flair, authentic shoji screens, and this ensuite that features several mosaics. Take the stairs down through the solarium, you arrive at the lounge, wine cellar, and cigar humidor. Along with the three-bedroom home, there's a separate guest house above the garage with its own ocean views and direct access to the heart of this hideaway. This is my last hurrah. For three years, Gail Norton teamed up with the owner to design and build this authentic Japanese stroll garden, her last creation after 50 years and hundreds of gardens. In the 1700s, there was an observation tower here for looking at the planets, and it's always been considered a very sacred spot. Now, these stone paths, zen gardens with gravel patterns, guide you on a calming, meditative journey. These are Tory gates, meant for good luck. From this perspective, you see the island landscape, the house, and the ocean. Look through the gates this way, you might as well be in Kyoto, Japan. When you get to the top of the garden, relax in the authentic tea house. Soak up the views and you'll start to understand what this island is all about. Islesboro has traditionally been a retreat, in every sense of the word, retreat, for people who want to come and get away from the stresses and the complexities of the outside world. That's why it has been and continues to be the summer retreat for some of America's wealthiest families, like the Rockefellers and Tiffany's. Even celebs like John Travolta have homes here. And Islesboro is just a 15-minute ferry ride from the mainland, and there's even an airport on the island. The attraction, much of the simplicity and charm of the early 1900s is alive and well. Even the lighthouse, commissioned by Thomas Jefferson, is still guiding passage on these waters that offer some of the best boating and sailing in the world. But not everyone is out to catch the wind. Many of the boats anchored in the bays are built to haul in world-famous Maine lobster that thrive in these cool waters. You can go ashore, uh, stop a lobsterman on the way, pick up a few lobsters for dinner that night, and just enjoy 
enjoy the Maine coast, which it's, there's nothing like it. It's just amazing. Even more amazing, this is how you can start your day here at the house. You get to touch these first golden rays of sunshine before anyone else in the entire country. That's because these islands are 300 miles farther east than any other point in the United States. And this house was specifically designed to give you a front row seat every single day. And at night, the view of the moon and stars isn't too shabby either. Day or night, inside and out, this property is a rare find. Don't let this one get away. Contact to Carol Luxury Auctions, and this could all be yours.